This is Desert Rose, a 65 foot semi traditional narrowboat built in 2004 by Keith Woods. It's been fitted out originally by Pinder and subsequently by her owners and Gate Marina recently. She was repainted in July 2016, just a year ago, and she looks fabulous. All very shiny. Just a year old. So um, she does look lovely. She's gasless. There's no gas on this boat. I'll show you the hob and oven in a minute. But she's a gas-free boat, which appeals to some. She has a huge well deck, six foot six long. It's as big as a cruiser stern deck, so there's room there to dine out with a table, four chairs. The water is in this forward locker. That was the gas locker when she was originally built, but the gas has come out and the water's gone in. The diesel tank for this stove is under the well deck and on into the boat. Painted ply above the gunnels makes her feel really light. Portholes throughout this boat. There's an L-shaped couch here which turns into a a spare double berth. Lots of room in here to, to add what you want in terms of furniture or a stove. Plenty of space. Oak laminate floors and there are six radiators on this boat powered by a Webasto thermotop system. And here's the stove, it's a ceramic hob and there's the oven diesel fired. I'm not familiar with them. But I think they work a bit like an Argo. Once it's warm it's easy and quick to use. Starting from cold takes a little longer. A couple of really good sized cupboards either side of the stove. And opposite is the sink area, work surfaces. Lots of cupboards here, a wine rack there. 12 volt fridge with an ice box. And here's the cutlery drawer and a couple of good sized drawers underneath actually, they're quite large. A couple of side hatches on this boat, both are glazed. One in the kitchen and one in the office area here. And then on, in, on into this office area, I'm not quite sure what to call it, but it's over six feet long, this counter. It could be a breakfast bar or office. You could take it out and put a dinette in. Lots of options, really. And there's a view down over the galley towards the front of the boat. Around we go. And this next part of the boat I'm calling the utility area. Washing machine under there, shelves over, and a sliding door to expose a wardrobe, a cupboard. Again, gives you options. Lots of room. She's a spacious boat. And into the bathroom. It's a walkthrough bathroom, so you get all the space that a walkthrough bathroom offers. Good sized shower with a glass door. Radiator there, quite a stylish ceramic sink. And there's the loo. That's an electric flush pump out Vetus loo. There's a bullseye over the sink in the ceiling that lets the sunlight in. And on into the bedroom. The bed six foot two by four foot. Some shelves underneath, added storage. Another radiator in here. At the foot of the bed, there's a lot of cupboard space. This wardrobe is huge. Cupboard underneath with the windlasses in at the moment and the landline.
lots and lots of hanging space. Even a radiator in there to keep your wet clothes dry. Lovely bedroom. Good size, good space, lots of storage. So another wardrobe here. This has got the inverter in it. That's a three kilowatt Victron. Out onto the stern deck. The Barrashire engine is under here. The battery bank's under the bench there. Very comfortable seat for when you're at the helm. And there's a view from the helmsman's position. That's Desert Rose. Lovely boat. Repainted a year ago. Lots of room, lots of space. For further information, go to www.rugbyboat.co.uk.